kind of do whatever you guys want to try today. Smoke's banking down, the heat's down, it definitely will drive you to the floor. Smoke conditions are really difficult to see at the floor level. And a lot of heat and a lot of nice fire coming off the fireplace itself. Standard uh, burn crib, it's got a propane burner underneath. All we do is push a button, ignites the wood. Once you ignite it and you feel that it's to the point that you like it, or if you want it to grow a little more, you can kind of do whatever you want with it. It's also got a deluge in it. We can actually put the fire out without the hose line. There's also emergency stops at every doorway. Simply just hit that emergency stop. Everything shuts down. These lights will come up. That ventilation that you hear will ramp up. It'll pull all the smoke and heat out. And again, the deluge system that's inside this burn crib will flood the fire. Giving you a realistic fire condition without the danger factor that you have in a regular structure fire. If you notice, there's a, a four-way divider here inside the burn crib. So they will actually have to really work this fire. During the training day, they can actually put this fire all the way out. They can put it all the way out, grab a couple more pallets or pieces of plywood, throw them on there, reignite it, and it'll dry that wet wood and then ignite the new wood. The nice thing about it is the quick turnaround time. A matter of minutes, you would have your students out, the fire relit, and you can be putting them back inside. Or you're talking about seven minutes, and we're able to rotate students right through on a nozzle and get realistic conditions. You're getting the smoke, you're getting the heat, and yet you're not getting that smoke byproduct that would be disturbing or disrupting to the neighborhood. That's the afterburner, burning all of the smoke so that it doesn't create a huge amount of smoke in the environment. Get students to uh, see a lot of heat, fire, and smoke conditions in a very safe environment. And to me, that's 100% right there.